Hello and welcome to the first live video here on the WCCC World Cup Strike Up Stars. And tonight, we have the World Cup. We are doing round three. Um, I know I just promised that we were going to do car races. That's not going to be happening. We, um, I, I needed to make an alteration to the track and I just did not have the time. So, we are going to go back to two um, yeah, four cars, two drivers from each team. It's going to be straight knockout. Um, all 32 teams are taking part. They've all qualified. And so the way we're going to do it is we're going to run three laps per race. Um, with all three drivers. But as you can see here, we've got our first matchup at Japan and Germany. So what will happen is that they're lined up in order of their uh, qualifying positions their um, respective team. So fastest driver from this row, kick fast is the fastest. And so what will happen is drivers one and two in, in both teams will race in lap one. Drivers two and three from both teams will run in lap two and then drivers one and three from both teams will race off in on lap three. So, before we do that, let's go take a look at the scoreboard. So, this is what we are dealing with so far. Excuse my uh, computer shot. I'm going to put this down. Yes, I can. Now, so here we go. Here is the table. In fact, I haven't. As you can see there, this is round three. Poland's gotten five points. They're actually ahead of Japan. There's their total there, 23 this is Japan's 21 side. So I need to alter that. Um, but besides that, this table is correct. Um, and as you can see, Mexico, France, India, Japan, Poland, Wales, all up the top. Um, the green, well, the dark green signifies the champion. And one through to six will go through to the Champions League. So that's what they're fighting for at the top of the table. If you come down to the bottom of the table, and it's, you don't want to be down here. Well, these are the relegation zone in the red. And you can see some big names down here. I mean, look at that. Switzerland, Netherlands, United States, and Germany. You would not expect to see any of those four down there. Um, Germany, uh, Thailand, and United States, no points yet. That means they failed to qualify in both round one and two. Um, so they really need a big result here tonight. Um, if, you, if I mean... We'll be three quarters of the way through. You, you can save it uh, even if you have zero points because if you look over here, um, it's just a whoops, as my tripod types some things. It says nine p p p p p p p p p. Um, so ignore that. But besides, it's just meant to say nine, I think. Um, but now that I mucked that up, um, so um, so this was the old schedule. So twenty five and up, that should say. We'll get zero points, um, 19 positions, 19 to 24, 1, all the way down into first gets 30, second 20, third 15, and so on. So, let's try and put this down without typing everywhere. If we're going to, oh yeah, we're in that square. Okay, oh, we are going to type some stuff. Okay, um, hang on, let me just do that. So, can't quite get the whole thing in now. Ah. There we go. Oops, nearly. There we go. Well, you know, Mexico and France are at the top. Um, so, yeah. So, it, even if you get zero points tonight um, and you're already in the relegation zone, you can save it by getting basically winning. Um, we'll ensure your safety. Probably second and third will, will as well. But, um, yeah, you're not going to win the championship. So, you really need to win tonight. Um, and, yeah, likewise at the top. Um, if you want to have a bit of a gap to your rivals you really want to do well and hope that they do badly um but that is stating the obvious isn't it absolutely stating the obvious i'm rambling now should we get get some racing i forgot to mention that the team that qualified higher in this case japan will occupy positions um that the, the front left and the back right fastest driver be at the front, slower driver will be at the back right, 
and then the other team will occupy front right, fastest driver, and back left. Right, here we go, lap one, G and Stephen Hewer on the front. Big lead from G already, and he's off, and Hikari runs, our only finisher. G's fallen off over there, we have lost Stephen Hewer here, and Finley Hewer has stalled on turn three. Did those two come together? Did the teammates crash? Lap two, and, and Hikari Rin and Finley Hewer move to the front. Josh Poffler and High Octane are up against them. Start from Hikari, but Finley's run his tail and he's turned him around. But the two Japanese drivers, first and second, Hikari will take it ahead of High Octane. Oh, I thought Finley was going to make it around um, Hikari run there. There's Josh Poffler. I don't even see um, what's happened to Finley Hewer now after all that. I got, got a bit distracted by High Octane coming through. Okay, and lap three. It's gonna be High Octane. Oh, he spun. Yes, it is High Octane, followed by Josh Poffler and uh, Stephen Hewer. We are missing G. There's G right there. And just to confirm, it was a 29 to 1 point win to Japan over Germany. It is not looking good for Germany to get any championship points because you need to be in the top half of the eliminated teams to get anything. And with only one point, you're probably not going to get it um, in that top half. Anyway, we move on to Philippines. Tom Risk, Ed Watch, Quincy Marinon versus the United States, who are, again, another team in trouble this year. Bolo Brown, Ego, and Wes Kowarsen. First up, Tom Rusk, Ed Watch versus Bolo Brown and Ego. Oops. Right, here we go. Lap one. Let's start from Bolo, but here comes Tom Rusk. And is he going to win it? Yes, he is. Followed by Bolo Brown. We've lost Ego. And we have lost someone else. Um... Where is Ed Watch? There he is. Oh, now did he, is he over that wall? No, I don't think so. Oh, no, he is. No, he is. Sorry, sorry, he is. If you look there, there he is. See, he is over that wall. So half a point to both Ego and Ed Watch. We have got fireworks. Hopefully the fireworks are not going to create too much of a distraction and a disruption. Um... It is the fourth here. I wish people would just do it on the one night and that's it. Anyway, um, don't mind me. We have Ed Watch and Ego on the front now. To start from e, uh, Ed Watch. Surely he's going to take this. Yes, he will. Followed by Bolo Brown again. Sorry, that wasn't Bolo Brown. That was Quincy Marinol. I just saw a red blur. Uh, there is Wes Kowarsen, who has failed to take the first U-turn, and Ego, who has failed to stay on the track at all. Alright, and lap three. Quincy Marinon in the lead, Wes Kowarsen's in second, and it is Quincy Marinon on. Marinon. Tom Risk spins out on the exit to the re-U-turn, and we have our USA drivers on their side at turn three. A quick question, uh, quick question, a quick um, correction. I mentioned before the score Japan versus Germany. Of course that was wrong. Uh, the reason for that was that I realized later on that I had got the wrong starting positions for lap three of that race. So I had to redo lap three and um, that significantly altered the final score. It wasn't 29 to 5. In fact, it was, let me have a look, uh, 25 to 8. So way better for Germany. Um, once I got it right eventually. <clears throat> anyway, we have, 
moving right along, let's not make any more mistakes in this video. Wales up against Thailand. Wales, Rex Wilder, um, Rob Allen, and Elemento P. Up against Thailand, Plochompu Boonsang. Uh, surprisingly, Chris Lowy did not qualify at last in his team. And Adisak Tham... Oh my gosh. Adisak Tham... Chat... Hang on, sorry. Adisak Tham... Tham Sachinan. Oh my word. Why did I pick that name? Okie dokie, Rex Wilder and Plochompu Boonsang on the front row. There's Rex Wilder. Who spins around and he's been passed by Boon Sing. He tries to get it back but can't quite do it. Wow, great driving from Ploy Chompu Boon Sing. There's a reason why she's one of our top drivers at the WCDC. Um, I did see a car fall off somewhere, I think. I think it fell off. Well, it's not on the track, so it must have. Um, oh yeah, down there. Um, I'll go investigate who that is in a minute. And, oh, well there's Rob Allen. So it must be uh, Chris Lowy. Rob Allen, are you over the line? Yes, you are. So Rob Allen will get half a point there. Right, lap two in Thailand has the lead. Oh, what a start from Chris Lowy. Where did that come from? Oh, well, he's ruined it. Rob Allen is stuck. He's given, been given a push by his teammates. And Sam Chachin... Can't finish the race. Oh, Chris Lowy. Led the race. Oh, we've, I just noticed we have lost a barrier. So we're going to have to do some track repairs. Uh, oh, by the way, there's an element OP who gave Rob Allen a bit of a shove to get him to the line. I'll tell you what, those walls are so hard to um, put back on. Can we not knock them off the track, please? Right. Lap three, it is 11 to 8 in favour of Wales now. We have Tham, I'm just going to call him Tham, and Element OP on the front. Let's start from Element OP. Here comes Tham. It's still going to be Element OP though. And well, everyone else has crashed. It's just Element OP. And Tham's caused an accident by the looks of it with Rex Wilder. Uh, where's Rob Allen? Not Rob Allen. Rob Allen's not in this race. Um, where is... We're missing a driver. Who are we missing? We've got Tham. We've got... Oh, it's Ploy Trump who I cannot see her at all. So, obviously no points because she's not on the track. Right, next up we have a team who has looked very threatening this year. It is France. Julian Pioli, Jim D and Jan Mutzound. Against a team that looked very threatening, threatening last year. Kevin Yu, Christopher Sophie and Nancy Adelaide. So first up we'll have Julian Pioli and Jim D. This is um, Kevin Yu and Christopher Sophie. Right, that one, here we go. Julian Pioli and Kevin Yu on the front. Pioli. And that Mercedes flying down the track. He's going to be followed by Kevin Yu. And oh, I think Jim D just held off Christopher Sophie for third there. Right. Now we have Jim D and Christopher Sophie on the front, being joined by Nancy Adelaide and Yom Woodsound. Jim D. Big lead for Jim D. Gets it sideways, but he's done it. And it is going to be Christopher Sophie followed by Nancy Adelaide. Uh, no, sorry. There is Nancy Adelaide there, followed by Yom Wood Sound. Right, the score is 22, 10 and a half. So Mauritius need a first and second here, and I hope the other two don't finish. It is Nancy Adelaide and Yom Wood Sound on the front. And oh, it's very close going into turn one. It is Yom Wood Sound though, followed by Julian Piole. Yes, and not sure who got third there, but it doesn't matter because uh, France are going through, Mauritius are out. All right, next up, Turkey. This is Scotland. Turkey, Barack Balat, who has a new car, Dodge Neon, after his Ford Focus failed um, in qualifying. Zuno Fate and 
and Courtney on table. And then we have Kevin Fairburn, who surprisingly everyone did a blistering time. He usually fails. Um, so that was out of nowhere. Indy Rain and Kevin Rose. So here we go. Uh, Brett Blatt, Zano Fate, Kevin Fairburn and um, Indy Rain for lap one. Right, here we go, Brett Blatt and Kevin Fairburn on the front. And Brett Blatt just ahead. And he's... Oh! Kevin Rhodes pushes him off the track and he just finishes. He did cross the line. Indy Rain has come in second. Now, we could have an upset going on then. We haven't had an upset yet. There is Brett Blatt down on the ground by that piece of paper, which shouldn't be there. And Zinofate is on his rope, so that's going to be 11 to half a point. Right, can Turkey come back? Fate and Indy Rain on the front. It's going to be Fate. Kevin Rose trying to get up into second, and he manages it, but then he gets thrown off the track. And it is Courtney on table, followed by Indy Rain. We had three lead changes there. Kevin Rose is over by Sharky's tow truck. Kind of blended into the carpet there. And we are missing um, Courtney on table. I believe. I'm, I'm not seeing Courtney on table. Okay. Sorry, it was Courtney on table who won. Sunefate came off. That's what I was looking for. And he went over the back. So he gets no points. Right, Kevin, Kevin Rose... And Courtney on table on the front. And oh, it's so close. It's still so close, but it is Courtney on table, followed by Brad Vallette, and that's going to put Turkey through. Oh, did he cross the line? I think he did, but um, regardless, I'm pretty sure that's going to put them through. Kevin Fairburn's going to get half the points. Kevin Rose gets nothing. Right, next up we have Ecuador, Ingrid Berra, George Valencia, Michael Padilla. This is Australia, James Sterling, Angron Ragefist, and Storm Troopson. I want to see Australia do well here. That's the only time you're ever going to hear a Kiwi say that, those words. But look at their cars. Freaking awesome cars. Right, lap number one, Ingrid Vera and James Sterling on the front. Ingrid Vera, oh, what a start. Look at Angron. What's happened to James Sterling? Here he is. And he's going to come in second. Uh, Angron's, Angron's always crashing like that corner. And there is uh, George Valencia in the background. Okay, lap two, Michael Padilla. Uh, sorry, George Valencia and Angron Ragefist with Stormtrooperson and Michael Padilla joining. And it, oh, look at that. Falcon go. Come on, Angron. You can do it, mate. Go! Yes, he makes it! And Michael Padilla's going to come in second. George Valencia's on his roof over there, and our Beetle is... Well, he often crashes there where Angron crashes, but no, we've lost him, so I'll go find him. Right, lap three, and our scores are so cl so close. Ecuador are on 11.5, Australia are on 11. Stormtrooperson and Michael Padilla on the front. Oh, it's Stormtrooperson! He's still leading eyes on his roof! And we've had a three car accident, so we will have a reset. We will have a reset. We can only do this once. Um, there's James Sterling. If this result had counted, uh, it would have gone to uh, Ecuador. It's half a point there, and one point for Australia, so it's one and a half points. Ecuador would have got two points, so they would have just gone through by a point and a half. Right, here we go. The one and only reset. Whatever happens here, counts. Stormtrooperson again. Is he going to hold it together this time? He, whoa, I think he just did. I think he just did, and if he did... Australia are through. James Sterling's over there on his roof. We have lost... Um, who have we lost? Uh, Michael Padilla, I believe, who I think ended up into the abyss over there. I think Australia are through, but I will just go to confirm that. 
Next up, Malta, Netherlands, Malta of Mark Taylor, Hayley Attard and Isabella Harding. Up against Netherlands, um, J.D. Elst, Darren Clarkson and Oz Nitro 76. Lap 1, we have Mark Taylor and J.D. Elst on the front. A good start from J.D. We are missing Darren Clarkson. This will not count. Or will it? No, here he is. It will count. And he's going to finish. Uh, I didn't even see if the Jeep Scrambler of Hayley Attard finished that race, so hold that thought. I'm not sure what happened to Darren Clarkson at the start there, but here he is on the front row, alongside Hayley Attard, who did not finish. Um, she came off at turn four. And we have Oz Nitro 76 and Isabella Harding joining them. Hayley Attard on the lead. Can she stay on the track this time? You know she's on a roof. Well, and we're going to have a reset. The one and only reset. And look at Isabella living dangerously on the edge. Right, here we go with the reset. Whatever happens here counts. Hayley Attard again. Keeping it upright. Oh no, she's wiped out again and this will count. This is almost the exact same replay except for Isabella is stuck over there at the first U-turn. Oh, she might be still on the track there. I'm not sure. She might have the front end of the car just over that wall. Not sure, but... And not sure about Oz Nitro down there either, but um, Hayley Attard and Darren Clarkson will get one point. I'm not even sure why I even asked what if Isabella um, was over the wall because she'd get no points regardless. But it is eight all. All to race four here on lap three. Here we go. Oz Nitro 76 and Isabella Harding on the front. Very close start. Oz Nitro's got the lead. Still got the lead. Yes, he's going to do it. He is! Netherlands are going through ahead of Malta. The second upset in a row. There is JD Else. He has spun out. And Isabella's flipped over. So Netherlands go through. Okay. So I just realised that I haven't been mentioning the final score. So we'll just do a quick round up of the last few. Um, we just had Malta defeated by Netherlands. 15 and a half to 12. Um, before that, the two matchups both ended in an 18 and a half to 15 and a half victory. Uh, Australia over Ecuador and Turkey over Scotland. So next up we have South Africa versus New Zealand. Blinky Wills, Melinda Schwartz and Shan Chan up against Spanish Watson, Michael Hall and Tiger Neinstein. Here we go for lap one, Blinky Wills and Spanners Watson on your front row. Yeah, it's Blinky Wills. It's flipped over spectacularly. And everyone else seems to come to a stop on turn three. Well, for the second, uh, third race in a row, we are going to have a reset. Okay, should we try that again? Blinky Wills again. This time he gets around that corner and he's on his roof again. And while this time it's going to count everyone else has crashed, Blinky Wills will get a point. And we have Michael Hall who will get half a point. And these two, Melinda Schwartz and Spanish Watson, again crashing out on this corner, they'll get no points. Alright, terrible start to this matchup. Let's hope that they can do a bit better this time. Schwart and Hall on the front, being joined by Tiger Einstein and Shan Shan at the back. Oh, it's very close. It's Schwartz comes out of it in first, and she... oh my gosh, really, guys, really? Shan Shan's on her side. Schwartz is on a roof. Michael Hall's on his side, and oh, Tiger Einstein has come off the track on turn two. I don't think either New Zealand or South Africa want to win this. Reset again. 
Very close again. It's Michael Hallgar at this time. Yes, he has. He's in the lead. And he stops to let... Oh, for goodness sake. We well, stopped to let Melinda Schwartz pass, and then Melinda Schwartz wipes out. So Michael Hall takes the points. <laughs> Shan Shan's on her roof there, so she'll get half a point. Again, Tiger Ninestein struggled at turn two. Hopefully his car's not failing. Okay, it is seven and a half to one and a half in favour of New Zealand. Who will take this? Not like anyone wants to. Tiger Ninestein and Shan Shan on the front. Shan Shan. Still Shan Shan followed by Spanish Watson. And we've all wiped out again. We will have a reset. Had this counted. Uh, South Africa would have got two points. Spanish Watson, who is currently perched on two cars at the same time. Um, let's go, go have a look at that. Um, and then Tiger Ninestone, no points. Let's go have a look at Spanish Watson. But I believe he's on two cars. Yeah, look at that. He's on two cars plus that CD. <laughs> right, for the third and final time, a reset. Here we go. Shan Shan again. Followed by Spanish Watson. Yes, Spanish Watson. No, he can't quite make it stick. Oh, that was a good race. Right, finally. Okay, so that was uh, Shan Shan, Spanish Watson, Tiger Einstein and Blinky Wills. All right, we move on to the second half of the bracket now, featuring two teams who did really well in season one um, down in the old division two, India and Zimbabwe. Also featuring two very, very good drivers in their, their first season, Manveer Singh and Craig Lear. But we have Manveer Singh, Rajan Bull, and um, that driver there, I will get the name in a minute. <laughs> um, and we have... Oh my gosh, brain. It's getting late. It's getting late. Um, oh my gosh, Craig Lear and Cynthia Bobo. Um, why can't I think of Craig Lear's teammate's name? I should know this. I'm just looking it up now. Hang on a minute. Oh, bear with me for a second. Oh my gosh, that is the wrong screen. Um, we have... Oh yes, yeah, so for India, Aditi Tamang and Zimbabwe um, da, 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 da. Elvis Musona of course Elvis Musona ay 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 right lap one um, Elvis Musona and that red jag and Manvir Singh on your inside and that's Chappelle and it's very close Oh, it's going to be Elvis Mistona who flies down the track, followed by Man Vesting and Craig Lear. We are missing Rajan Bull. There he is. Lap number two, Rajan Bull and Craig Lear with Cynthia Bobo and Aditi Tamang at the back. Rajan Bull takes the lead just. He's on his roof and Craig Lear comes through and wins the race. Followed by Aditi Tamang. It is 17 to 8.5 in favour of Zimbabwe. Could India be out? And could we have the fourth upset in a row? It's going to be tough for India to come back from this. Anyway, it is Cynthia Bobo and Aditi Tamang on the front. Aditi Tamang needs to win this, really. Good start. She's in the lead. Followed by... Elvis Musona, she is going to win. And Manvir Singh comes in third. Um, I don't know who's going through. I will get back to you in a second. Okay, we move on to day two. Um, I don't think I mentioned the results of the last one um, last night. But Zimbabwe did beat India 21.5 to 18.5. So another upset. Are we going to have another one here? Mexico versus Sweden. Daniel Mercado, um, Joe Marquez and Eddie Madrid versus Justin Ryan, John Tetley and Sophia Falk. This will be the last time we have uh, Joe Marquez in the World Cup. Of course, he passed away earlier this year. So let's hope that this is a good send-off for him in, in round three. Because, of course, he's not in round four because he's, he was already in round one and two. So... 
First up will be Daniel Mercado and Joe Marquez versus Justin Ryan and John Tetley. Okay, Daniel Mercado and Justin Ryan on the front. Good start from Daniel Mercado. Very good start. Here comes John Tetley crashing into him, but he's not going to pass him. And third place will be Joe Marquez. We have lost Justin Ryan, who has come off the track there. Okay, Joe Marquez and John Tetley move to the front with Sophia Falk and Eddie Madrid in behind. Joe Marquez taking the lead. John Tetley's right behind. And he can't go. Oh, John couldn't get around and he ended up crashing off the side before the finish. So only Joe finishes. Sophia Falk is off on turn three. And I did hear Eddie Madrid go flying over into the void. Right, third and final lap. This is all done and dusted. and Mexico are through it because it's 17 to 4. Most you can get in a race is 11. So they've won by at least two. Sophia Falk and Eddie Madrid on the front. Sophia Falk and Eddie Madrid having a fight. And neither of them take it. So we're going to do a reset. That wasn't Eddie Madrid, sorry. That was uh, Daniel Mercado. And Justin Ryan. Just stays on the track, but it won't matter. All right, the reset. Sophia Falk and Daniel Mercado fighting again. And this time, oh, fast finish from Justin Ryan. It is Daniel Mercado who takes it, followed by Sophia Falk and Justin Ryan, and Eddie Madrid has come off on turn three. So Mexico took that 24 to 11. Now, Mexico have something in common with this next team, Poland. Both of them, after their qualifying session, moved up into the top two in the world rankings, knocking Nauru off the top spot. Mexico took first, Poland second, despite Poland getting first place for this tournament. So Poland have, <coughs> excuse me, Randy Toothberry Jr., Quinton Hewer, and Randy Bricklayer Sr., and they're up against Malaysia, Mohamed Daniel, Zuhair Ahmad, and uh, Henrietta Sabrinas. So here we go. Lap one, Randy Toothfairy Jr. Fairy Jr. versus and Mohamed Daniel on the front. And it's the Tooth Fairy. Oh, Zuhair Ahmad's got stuck. Tooth Fairy's in the lead. And he's wiped it out. So the, so he's wiped it out? He's wiped out. So we will have a reset. Thank goodness for Zuhair Ahmad, who got up on the wall. That's the first time we've seen someone do that in this tournament. Okay, lap one, take two. Slow start from uh, Ahmad. Oh, and we've had another wipeout. This one's going to count, though. And it is bad news for Poland, because they're the... They're the their driver is off the track. Everyone else has stayed on the track to get half a point. I'm not sure what happened there, but three cars flipped over, and Quinton Hewer ended up leaving the track. Okay, lap two, Quinton Hewer and Zahir Ahmad on the front, Henrietta Sabrinas and Randy Bricklayer Sr. in behind. Slow start from Sabrinas. In fact, Sabrinas hasn't even moved off the start line, so this is not going to count. Much to the dismay of Poland, we have a car stuck. And it got stuck on that little lip there. Okay, so we are going to have to make sure that, that doesn't happen again. I see if you move it over to there, but this side, it gets a bit caught there. So sometimes, depending on where the front... Oh no, well, it actually did move forward and then got stuck. Interesting. Okay. was the front wheel that got stuck, not the back one, so we're just going to move that car over and hope that it starts. All right, here we go. Take two. That's better. There we go. Right. Quinton Hewer is on his road. Suhira Ahmad's going to win the race again anyway. Oh, and, okay, so that actually worked out in Malaysia's favour after all that. Um, Henry and Sabrinas will get half a point. So, uh, not Suhira Ahmad. Um, Quinton Hewer, also half a point. We're missing... Um, the bricklayer. I cannot see the bricklayer anywhere. 
So he will get no points, and I will have to go hunt him down. So Poland need to do very well in this last race to get through because it is eight and a half points to Malaysia and only one and a half to Poland. So here we go. Randy Senior and Henry Sabrinas on the front. Good start from Randy. Randy Senior, that is. Brick Layer is flying out in front. He's over. And it's going to be Randy Jr. to rescue it. Now, with his win... They both go to eight and a half points. Have we got any other cars stuck on the track? No. We have a tie. Hang on. What is Randy Senior's off the track over there, I think. Let's just make sure. If he's on the track, Poland are through. But I don't think he is. No, he's not. No, he is not. So we have a tie. We're going to have to go to a tiebreaker. So we have a tiebreaker. And the rules state that the top two qualifiers have to go head to head. If that is still a draw, then the second two, and then the third two. So here we go. Randy Jr., the Tooth Fairy, versus Muhammad Daniel. Randy's got the lead. And he's on his roof. Muhammad Daniel's come through. He just needs to finish. And he will. Malaysia are through. That is a shock. That is a big shock. Randy Jr. wiped out. Malaysia go through. Next up, Slovenia. And Brazil, Slovenia of Eric Z, Eric Z, Eric Z, however you say it, Lara Mirsnik, Tim Balik, and they are up against uh, Brazil, which is Davina Santa Silva, um, Cardas de Corin, wait, Cardas de Corinos, and uh, Rafael Paiva. Right, here we go, Eric Z versus Davina Santa Silva. On the front. And it is Eric C. Easily. Santos Silva second. Um, Lara Mirsnik third. And Corridas de Corinos in the fourth. Okay. Lap two. We have um, to Lara Mirsnik and Corridas de Corinos on the front. Rafael Paver and Tim Ballot join them in the back. Laramia Snack has a good lead. <coughs> Looks like everyone else has crashed out by the sound of it. Yes, she wins. There is the two Brazilians. Where is our dump truck? Um, oh, we've lost her. We've had the barriers moved up there. Did Tim just do that now? I can't see him. Anyway, they'll get half a point. Laramia Snack 7, Tim nothing. Right, it is 17 to 7 in favour of Slovenia, so Brazil need a 1 and 2 here to have any chance of going through. Rafael Paiva and Tim Balik on the front. Oops, get ahead of them. It is Paiva, followed by. Oh, Eric said. Eric said it's going to win. And that's it. Um, Rafael Paiva's crashed out there. We've got the dump truck upside down on turn 2. We are missing. Um, the other Brazilian car. Um, I'm not sure what happened to it. So, but no points for Brazil there. Right, finally, it's my turn. Um, oh, Slovenia did win the last one easily, by the way, um, over Brazil, 24-7. Anyway, Ireland and England. Ireland, me. I finally actually made it down the track during qualifying. Mike Mays and John Gent. Up against England, now this is going to be a battle. Sharky, Kelden Raven, and um, Sean Hickling. So here we go. Yeah, lap one, it is me and Sharky on the front row. Close start, it's me. Can I hold it together though? Sharky's all over the back of me, but I'm going to hold it together. Mike Mates coming in third, Kelden Raven fourth. Good race. Here we go. Lap two, Mike Mays and Kelton Raven on the front. Sean Hickling's in trouble. Mike Mays is going to win as he all just, followed by Kelton Raven and um, John Gents. And Sean Hickling has had a problem getting onto the lane, uh, the grey lane curve. Right, with a 10-point gap, they need at least a first and a third England here. Well, no, a first and a third will mean that Ireland gets second, so 
No, it has to be first and second. Sean Hickling and John Kent on the front. And Sean get onto the yes he does it this time. And but it is John Kent. Followed by Sharky, followed by me. We have lost Sean Hickling. There he is. And Ireland go through. Okay, a huge win for my team there, 30 to 10. Move on to Hungary versus Canada. Hungary, what a team. They've reached the quarterfinals twice, and they have not made it to the semis. I, they, they're better than that. Um, we have Barbara Zella, Moose, and Zolk Chapke, and they're up against Canada, who are... Um, who's in the Alfa Romeo again? It is... Sorry, just a second. It is oh, Forrest Jenkins, of course, Crazy Canuck, and Sir Dragon. I always get those two around the wrong way. Okay, we have. Um, oh, why is the name just escaping me again? Uh, Barbara Zella and um, Forrest Jenkins on the front. Barbara Zella, big lead already. Cruising down. Here comes. Uh, Forrest Jenkins in for second. Crazy Canuck stalled on the exit to turn three. Uh, uh, exit off turn three. Uh, next to an upside down moose. So obviously those two have had a coming together. Okay, lap two sees moose and Crazy Canuck on the front with um, Sir Dragon and Top Chap Game behind. Moose leading. Wipes out. Crazy Canuck. Followed by Sir Dragon. This is great news to Canada. Well, it was until Sir Dragon wiped out and took out um, Doc Chapke with him. Moose wiped out there. So still good news for Canada. They get seven points and they're going to move into the lead, I believe. Okay, Canada do have the lead. It is 12 to 7. Um, that is not the time. It is 13 past 11. Um, it's bronze versus yellow in the final race. Bronze being Canada, Sir Dragon on the front, versus Yellow being Hungary, which has Zolk Chapka on the front. Here we go. And it is Sir Dragon. And this is going to make it Canada. No! He's wiped out before the line, and Hungary are going to take it. Barbara Zella wins the race from Zolk Chapka. I didn't even see her pass him. And... Well, there's Forrest Jenkins on his roof, and, oh, Sir Dragon had the lead the whole way down. He just wiped out right at the end. Right, final score in the last match was 18 to 12 in favour of Hungary. Now, Belgium, Lesotho. Belgium have uh, Steen van Leersum, Tyler Smith in his new Commodore, and Kit KM. Um, very surprising in qualifying. Second. Belgium have always been strugglers, but now suddenly they're in the game. Lesotho, Manik Kalake, Lucano and Koto, and Seppo Salo. Right, here we go. Steam Van Lessum and Manik Kalake on the front row. And oh, Manik Kalake is having trouble. It's Steam Van Lessum followed by Lucano and Koto. Steam Van Lessum takes it. And, oh, Manik Kalake had trouble on the lane track, on the orange lane track, and held up Tyler Smith. Bad luck for Tyler. Tyler Smith has a chance to make up for it. He's now on the front row with Lacano and Koto. Seppo Salo and Kit KM come on to the track. Tyler in the lead, but here comes Lacano. Uh-oh. And Lacano's going to lead them down, and he's going to win the race. And there was an accident over there on t the Ryu turn with Tyler Smith and Seppo Salo's crashed into the back of them. Um, Kit Cam's on the ground, so accident for Belgium, the two teammates. Right, one lap to go. The scores are 12 to 8 in favour of Lesotho, Seppo Salo and Kit Cam on the front. Slow start from Steen Van Leersen, but it's Kit Cam is on his roof! Here comes Nick Kalake, who drives off the track. We will have a reset. Right, lap three, take two. Better start from Steam Van Lees from this time. Kick him in the lead. This time he's still going. 
And, oh my word, he's crossed the line. He has crossed... Oh, has he? Has he crossed the line there? I... Yeah, he's crossed the line. He's crossed the line. This is this is straight up and down as it is. So he will get the win only just. Um, and Belgium are going to go through, I think. Seppo Salo's on his roof there. Manek Kalake's on his side there. And we are missing Steen Van Leersen. Uh, yeah, I can't find him. So, Belgium will go through, though. And finally, our last round of 32 matchup sees Iceland versus Switzerland. Switzerland have really underperformed this year, so this is a, their chance to finally get up the order. Um, Iceland, we have um, Jimmy John. Jimmy John, yeah, well, yeah, Jimmy John, Jimmy John, Mark Heisler. Jimmy John, Patrick Carlson, Sarah Bjork Chesson, Mark Heisler, and Lance Manalo, and Vanessa van der Elst for Switzerland. Okay, lap one sees Patrick, uh, not, not Patrick Carlson in the back. Um, Jimmy John and Mark Heisler on the front. Low start of this Mark Heisler, though. He's on the roof. And it will be Jimmy John who's the only finisher. Mark Chrysler is over there. Someone fell on the ground. Didn't see who that was. Okay, lap two sees Patrick Carlson and Lance Manali come to the front row. Vanessa van der Ars and Sarah Bjork Jesson on the back. Good start from Carlson. And will Vanessa catch up? Doesn't look like oh, Vanessa's wiped out. And here comes Sarah Bjork Jesson, so that's surely going to put them through. And yep, Iceland are easily through. 18 to 1. Last race. Vanessa van der Ars and Sarah Bjork Jesson on the front. Vanessa van der Ars in the lead. Printy with draw from Pride here. Oh, no, she can't. And I think that was... Um, Jimmy John who finished first. I will have to check the replay on that. Let's see which bronze car finished first. Vanessa van der Ars gets no points. And Sarah Bjork Jesson will get half a point. Right, let's let, have a quick look at the table as we move into the round of 16. Uh, down at the bottom, Malta have moved out of the relegation zone, but they'll probably drop back in once the Netherlands go. Um, unless the Netherlands only pick up two points in the next round um which will be the bottom two teams in this next round um i know what's happening honest don't worry about it um and at the top india and poland not looking good this is looking like mexico and france could really run away with this this year um unless someone else really delves them a blow in this round anyway and goes on to win so japan it's got to be the next best contender because they're sitting there in fifth place. So let's move on to the round of 16. Right, first up, speaking of Japan, we have Japan and they're up against Philippines. G, uh, Hikari Rin and High Octane versus Ed Watch, um, sorry, Tom Risk, Ed Watch and Quincy Marinon. It is G and Tom Risk on the front. He has the lead and he's over again. Tom Risk is going to win the race. And I say again because G did not get any points in the round of 32. Wow, maybe G are going, I mean, maybe Japan are going out here. They've got one point at least because both their drivers have half a point. Um, and... Ed Watch has also got half a point. Right, Hikari Rin, Hikari Rin and Ed Watch on the front, being joined by Quincy Marinon and High Octane. Hikari is in the lead. Oh, here comes the other two white cars, and it is white one, two, and three. Quincy Marinon coming in fourth. Right, the score is 13.5 to 10.5 in favour of Philippines. G needs to get his A into G, doesn't he? Start getting some points in this tournament. Quincy Marinon and High Octane on the front. That was a terrible joke, by the way. High Octane is going to lead. Yes, he is. Quincy Marinon's in second. 
Oh, did he cross the line? Did he cross the line? 17, and I think it's going to be a tie if he did cross the line. It'll be 18 points all, because there is G, when he's got half a point, holding up Tom Risk. All right, a big, big call has been made. The judges were indecisive whether or not uh, Quincy Marilyn crossed the line, so they've decided to give him the benefit of the doubt that he did, which means we have a tie, 18 all, which is bad news for Japan because G and Tom Rusk are going to have to go head to head. This is G's big moment. He needs to hold it together here. Here we go. He's got the lead, but can he stay on his roof? No, on his wheels. No, he can't. And Tom Rusk takes it. There we go. Japan are out. Right. Next up, we have Wales versus France. Um, of course, Rex Wilder, Rob Allen, Alan P versus Julian Pioli, Jim D and Yom Woodsound. Here we go, lap one. Joe, there, what? Rex Wilder and Julian Pioli on the front. Joe. Who's Joe? Joe Markey. Team Rex, Joe. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, right, cool. That's brilliant news. Um, yeah, looks like Julian Piolo is taken out of barrier. Someone went flying over there at the same time. Um, who are we missing? Um, that's Rob Allen. And Jim T's on his roof, so we will try that one again. Maybe a little less chaos this time, please. Right, Wilder. Oh my gosh. Well, Rex Wilder is at least going to finish the race. Rob Allen, this time it's not Rob Allen who's going flying over there. Um, we are missing the two um, French drivers who, I take it, have gone flying over there. Right, now we have Rob Allen and Jim D on the front with Alan P and Yom Woodsound in behind. And it is Rob Allen. Here comes Jim D trying to get around. Can't make his stick tries again. Can't. Doesn't work out. Element OP will come in third. Yom Woodsound is on his roof. Lap three. Yom Woodsound and Element OP on the front. I've forgotten to check the scores, so I have no idea who's winning. Uh, Yom Woodsound winning this race. Oh, nearly going off the track with Rex Wilder. And Rex Wilder wins it. <laughs> Element OP spins out and... Oh. She just straightened up a little bit. She'll be able to get to the end. Um, one point for all three of those drivers. There is the two French drivers midway through the Ryu turn, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, now hang on a minute. Ha hold your horses because we are going to do a rerun. Because I've just spotted something. We have got some tape come up. That is an obstacle, and that's probably why we've had an accident over here so we are going to have a rerun now this might be a bit of a controversial decision to do a rerun here because i watched the replay and it looked like the tape came up when yom wood sound and julian Pele were crashing or julian was crashing into yom wood sound um so i don't think wales were involved at all in that but but um, the tape coming up may have influenced the cars getting to the end. Probably not, but we can't determine that for sure. So I've made the decision to stick with the rerun. And yeah, let's see what happens. All this punished Wales. Yom Woodsound is in the lead, followed by Rex Wilder. And Rex Wilder will come in second. Now this is going to make it very interesting. Um, there is Julian Pioli, he has stopped at turn three, and we are missing Alamino P. Turns out Wales were already going through easily um, after lap two, so that decision made absolutely no difference. Right, we move on to Turkey and Australia. Brat Balat, Zuno Fate, Courtney on Table versus James Sterling, Angron Rajfus and Storm Trooperson. Brat Balat and James Sterling on your front row. 
Brett Blatt has the lead followed by Angron Race fifth. Here comes Angron. Can't quite get it done. And he just finishes the race in second place. James Sterling's on his roof off the track. And Zunifate will get half a point. Right, Zunifate and Angron Race fifth on the front row. Stormtroopson and Courtney on table join them on the back. Very close, very close. Angron's got the lead though. Angron in the lead. He spun out, and we're going to have a reset, are we? Yes, we are. Wow. Despite Stormtroopers and trying to help him to get to the line, but, I mean, he had nowhere to go, did he, at the same time? And, um, Zonofate, it looked like... Yeah, you know, no, no, I think Zonofate did that on his own. Lap two, take two. Very close again. Oh, but yeah, it's Angron again. And he does the same thing. This time he gets a shot from Zunifate and finishes the race. Zunifate should have gone around him, but he was going in reverse, so he probably couldn't see properly. Stormtroopson's on his roof on turn three, and so is Courtney on table. Okay, going into the last race, it's all square. 11 and a half points each. Stormtroopson and Courtney on table on the front. Courtney on table has a better start. Still in the lead. Yes, yeah, she's going to do it just. Here comes James Sterling. It's not going to be enough. Turkey will go through. Accident over there between Stormtroopers and Barat Blatt. And before, before we move on to this next one, I just want to point out something. that The final score in that last one was Turkey, 18.5 points to um, Australia, 15.5 points. Turkey and Australia both won their round of 32 races, 18.5 points to 15.5 points. Isn't that weird? And then they go and do it again in the race against each other. So weird. Right, New Zealand versus Netherlands. In New Zealand, um, well, both these teams um, had upsets in their round of 32, and New Zealand qualified higher than Netherlands, so that's why they're on this side. We've got Spanners Watson, Mike Hall, and uh, Tiger Einstein, JD Else, Darren Clarkson, and Oz Nitro 76. Okay, Spanners Watson and JD Else on the front. And it's JD Else after Spanners Watson crash. JD Else wins it. And because Spanners Watson crashed, he's held up his teammate and Darren Clarkson. Michael Hall and Darren Clarkson on the front row, Oz Nitro 76 and Tiger Einstein on the back. Great start from Michael Hall, terrible start from Darren Clarkson, what's happened there? And Darren Clarkson's come out of nowhere, surely not. Darren Clarkson wins! That is one of the most bizarre races I've ever seen. Darren Clarkson had a shocker and he held up. Um, Tiger Einstein so much that Tiger Einstein stalled way up the top of the track. Michael Hall crashed off the track in the lead and ending up crashing into Angron Rage Fist. And we are missing someone. We are missing, um, Oz Nitro 76. I cannot even see him. I'm, I think, pretty sure he crashed out about the same time as Michael Hall. Weird. And with that result, Netherlands are through. You've got to feel sorry but there for New Zealand. Tiger Einstein could have easily have saved the day there, but he stalled. Because he was held up by Darren Clarkson. Anyway, Oz Nitro 76 and Tiger Einstein on the front. And it is Oz Nitro 76. With Spanners Watson all over the back of him. Spanners is crashed out. Tiger gives him a shove. And so Oz not all in when the box has fallen over. Big drama here. JD else is on his roof over here. Right, moving on to Mexico versus Zimbabwe. We have um, Daniel Mercado, Joe Marquez and Andy Madrid versus Elvis Musona, I nearly forgot again, Craig Lear and Cynthia Bobo. Daniel Mercado and Elvis Musona on the front. Very quick start. Look at them fly down there. Daniel Mercado's low down there. 
going to be followed by Craig Lear and Cynthia Bobo. Obviously, me sona crashed off the track on the Ryu turn. I think I said Cynthia Bobo came in third there. No, that she wasn't even in the race. That was Joe Marquez. So now Joe Marquez and Craig Lear on the front, Cynthia Bobo and Eddie Madrid on the back. Oh, what a start from Craig Lear. And oh, he's crashed out. And Joe Marquez is the only finisher. Craig Lear piles on the misery for G and crashes into his car. Cynthia Bobo will get half a point and Eddie Madrid will get half a point. And that might be it for Zimbabwe. That is confirmed it is all over for Zimbabwe. So Cynthia Bobo and Eddie Madrid on the front. Last race. Last lap. Very close. Can we Cynthia Bobo, is it? No, it's Eddie Madrid. Oh, Eddie holds on. And, oh, I think that was Eddie Madrid, Elvis Musona, and Daniel Mercado. I will watch the replay, though. Okay, we are on to day three, and I have no idea what happened where I left it on day two. Um, I'm just looking at the score. Uh, me yeah, Mexico beat Zimbabwe. Okay. Um, right, we move on to Slovenia versus, uh, who do we have here? We have um, Malaysia. And we will start off with um, Mohamed Daniel for Swe uh, not Sweden, Malaysia. And uh, Eric said of uh, Slovenia with um, Tuhi Ramad and Lara Mersnik. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> Forgetting all the names at the same time. Right, I'm I'm obviously a bit rusty. Alright, anyway, here we go with lap one. And big crash. And it's oh, we've lost Muhammad Daniel, but it'll be Zuhir Ahmad followed by Lara Musnik. Um Muhammad Daniel's fallen onto the concrete, which I haven't covered up. Um a car fell down in testing and I moved some things and I forgot to fix it. Uh, Eric Z was in the lead, or Eric Z, and he fell off the track, caused a big pile up behind him, but they all recovered, well, except for Muhammad Daniel. Okay, lap two sees Zuhair Ahmad and um, Lara Mersnik move to the front, with Tim Bellick and Henrietta Sabrinas joining them in behind. Here we go. Big accident, and we will have a reset. Uh, Zuhair Ahmad crashed out on the straight and caused a pile-up with both Slovenia drivers, and Henrietta Sabrinas has failed to make it around turn two. Right, here we go for a rerun of lap two. That's the way out of front. Oh. Well, we've lost... Oof. Can't really going over the edge there. We've lost Henrietta Sabrina's there. We have lost Suhir Ahmad there. Um, he's the only one who's going to get any points. Half a point. I did hear someone go flying over the back, but we are missing two cars. So I'm assuming both cars went flying over the back. Okay, Tim Ballack failed to even get around the first corner. So the scores are... It is seven and a half points to Malaysia versus four for Slovenia. A real low scoring one, this one. So Eric Z said, well, Tim Ballack needs to do something here. And I've just realised that um, these cards are in the wrong position. So hang on, I'll just fix that. Right. Here we go. Race three. Lap three. Close, very close. Henrietta Sabrinas in the lead. Oh, it gets around the outside. Eric Z got around the outside and Henrietta Sabrinas spins out and that means that Slovenia have pinched it. Eric Z has pinched it off of Malaysia's Henrietta Sabrinas. Um, and also Tim Ballack will get half a point there. He's on his side and he's blocked Mohamed Daniel who will get no points. Right, so the final score on that one was seven and a half points to, sorry, eight and a half points to Malaysia and um, uh, 11 and a half to um, Slovenia. Now we move on to Ireland versus Hungary. Ireland features me. Look at me. I'm on the front row there. 
in that Ford Focus. Uh, next to me is Barbara Zella. Behind me is Moose. And Mike Mays is over the back there. So here we go. Lap one. Come on, me. Go, me. Very blurry. But I'm going so fast, I've gone off the track. Of course I have. And it's 1-2 for Hungary. And how did Moose just land on top of that box? That's interesting. They meant to go in the box. Um, Mike Mays is going to get half a point. And I get nothing. So that's a brilliant start from Ireland. Not. Okay, Moose and Mike Mays move to the front. Coming in behind them is um, John Gent for Ireland and Thought Chapke for Hungary. Lap two. Moose better start. Come on, Mike. Oh, Mike flipped over. And it's going to be Moose all the way. John Gent will get half a point. Mike Mays will get half a point. We have lost Salt Chapko for the back, I believe. Um, but I think that is done and dusted now. Hungary will go through. Yep, that is it is all done and dusted. Hungary's on 18 and Ireland one and a half. Um, this will be the last lap you'll see me in my Ford Focus. I'll be switching it for next year. It's just too fast. It's out of control. Um, or maybe that's just the driver. Anyway, no way back for Ireland. Um, we have John Gent and Zolt Chapke on the front row, lap three. Here we go. Come on, me. Go out with a bang. Oh, blurring us again. Oh, it's John Gent in the lead. Oh, he's been pushed out the way, and it will be Zolt Chapke, me, and Barbara Zella. It was an absolute walloping in the end. 28 points to five and a half. Final of the round of... What are we at now? We round of 16... Yeah, round of 16. Uh, Belgium versus Iceland. Belgium with Steen van Leersum and um, Tyler Smith over the back there in the Holden Commodore. And Iceland with Jimmy John and Patrick Carlson in the back. Here we go. Lap one. Steen van Leersum has the lead, followed by Jimmy John. Jimmy John takes the lead. Here comes Patrick Carlson too. So a great start from Iceland. Terrible from Belgium. There is... Um, Steen Van Leersum on his roof and Tyler Smith has been caught on a bit of wood up there upside down ok lap 2 sees Patrick Carlson and Tyler Smith move to, move to the front with Kit Cahim and Sarah Bjork Jessen in behind and it is Patrick Carlson way out in front oh Oh, he's hit something there and stopped suddenly. Uh, Kit came stopped over there. We have Sarah Bjork Jessen on her roof on turn three. And Tyler Smith fell off the track. Um, I can't quite see him. That would have sealed the deal had Patrick Carlson managed to cross the line. But he didn't. So Belgium have a lifeline here. Good start from Tyler Smith. But, oh, dear. Oh, Kit Cahim's off. Kit Cahim's off the road. Oh, no. Right. Multiple drivers are off the road. Well, two drivers are off the road. Um, We have Tyler Smith over here on his roof. So half a point there. We have um, Sarah Bjork Jessen with half a point too. I think this is going to keep Belgium alive, but only just. Okay, it's extremely unlikely Belgium are going to go through here. The only chance is they need to get first and second and um, Iceland need to get absolutely zero points, and that will force a tie. So here we go. The team needs to win this. And it's very blurry, and well, there we go. We're going to have a reset. Not very good driving so far today. Right, reset. Here we go. Belgium have another chance. No blur this time. Get stuck. It's all over. It's all over there goes Sarah Bjork Jessen. She wins the race. Kit Cahim got stuck. He held up Jimmy John. Steen Van Leersum. Well, he gets half a point. But easy win in the end for Iceland. Right, it is quarterfinal time. We have Wales versus Philippines in the first quarterfinal. On the front row, we have Rex Wilder and Tom Rusk. And in the back row behind Wilder is Ed Watch, and behind Tom Risk is Rob Allen. Here we go, quarterfinal one.
lap one. Let's start from Rex Wilder. He's on his roof. Oh dear. Okay. Well, that's a great start then, isn't it? We have three cars on their roof on their track, and Rob Allen has come off the track on his wheels. We will do a reset. Come on, guys, you're in the top 25%. Reset for lap one. Here we go. That's Wilder again. And he's over again, and you wouldn't think that they're in the top quarter. All right, so that means we've only got half a point for Philippines with Ed Watch. We have both Welsh drivers there, and I can't even see Tom Risk. It's terrible. All right, let's hope lap two does um, goes a bit better. Ed Watch and Rob Allen move to the front. Allen P and Quincy Marinon in behind. Let's go start. No, there goes Ed Watch. He's out in the lead. He's over and off. Oh, for the love of God, you guys. This is getting a bit ridiculous. Reset again. Oh, at least someone manages to get to the end. Right, the score with one lap to go is seven and a half points to Philippines to half a point for Wales. There we go, lap three, Alamina P and Quincy Marin on, on the front. Alamina P takes the lead, she needs to hold on to it though. She's been chased down by Tom Risk and Tom Risk takes it at the death. Tom Risk takes it at the death. Alamina P second and Rex Wilder third. Quincy Marinon's off the track on his roof, but it won't matter. Philippines will go through. And just for the record there, even if um, Alamina P held on to that lead in that lap, um, it wouldn't have mattered. Philippines would have won by one point. It would have needed Rex Wilder to pass Tom Risk to change the result. So quarterfinal two sees uh, the Turkey versus Netherlands. Turkey's Barak Balat and um, Netherlands J.D. Els on the front. Behind Barak Balat is Darren Clarkson and behind J.D. Els is Zuno Fate. Here we go, lap one. That's Barak Balat in the lead, followed by J.D. Els. J.D. tries to get around and they crash. But JD manages to recover. Barack Blatt doesn't. JD takes uh, lap one. Barack Blatt and Zuno Fate both crash out on the same straight. But Barack Blatt will get one point. Zuno Fate will get half a point. And Darren Clarkson is on his roof on turn three. Right, lap two. Darren Clarkson and Zuno Fate move to the front. Courtney on table and Oz Nitro 76 in the back. And it is Zuno Fate in the lead. Followed by Oz Nitro. No, we've had another crash. Here we go again. Everyone, well, Zuno Fate crashed in front of everyone and left no, everyone with nowhere to go, I believe. And here we go with the reset. Zuno Fate followed by Darren Clarkson. Darren Clarkson takes the lead with Oz Nitro in second. Oz Nitro is wiped out. Darren Clarkson takes the win though. Oz Nitro 76 will get half a point. Zuno Fate half a point. He's just on the track there. And Courtney on table half a point. But I believe, well, I'm 99.9% .9 sure, that Netherlands are going through to the semi final. Yes, so Netherlands have a 12 point lead. So they are through to the semi final. Courtney on table and Oz Nitro 76 on the front. That's Courtney on table. Followed by Oz Nitro 76, but Courtney on table will do it. And wow, what a good race that was. All four finished. Okay, so the final score on that one was Netherlands 21.5 points to Turkey's 11.5. All right, quarterfinal three says Mexico versus Slovenia. We have Daniel Mercado and Eric Z on the front row. In behind is um I'm forgetting her name. 
Lara Musnick and Joe Marquez. Here we go, lap one. Great start from Daniel Mercado. He's flying down, he's on his roof. Lara Musnick comes in the first, followed by Joe Marquez. Daniel Mercado will get half a point, and we still have... Oh, now, hang on a minute. I need to watch the replay. I have not cleared the track, so this could... May have interfered Zanufate's car. We will see. Okay, so the judges have convened, and they've decided that even though Daniel Mercado did hit the crashed car of Zanufate, he was already out of control when it happened and was unlikely to reach the next checkpoint. So we move on. Alan P and Joe Marquez... Uh, not Alan P. That's the other Ford Mustang. Um, Lara Musnick. I'm having trouble with that name tonight. And Joe Marquez on the front. Eddie Madrid and Tim Ballack in behind. And it is... Oh, Joe Marquez. And... Oh... Lara Musnick just finishes, so the reverse of the top two in race one. Eddie Madrid is on his roof over here, and we are missing Tim Ballack's dump truck, um, which has failed to get around turn one. That's disappointing. Right, this one is really close. Mexico's on 12, Slovenia's on 11. Eddie Madrid and Tim Ballack on the front row. Here we go. Getting the thread followed by Eric C. Oh! And we've had a big accident and we've lost a barrier again. And no doubt some cars from up there. But anyway, um, the only driver still on the track is Daniel Mercado, but we will have a reset. In case Stormtrooper Son of Team Australia did fall down, but he is okay. Right, reset. Here we go. Eddie Madrid again, followed by Eric C. Eddie Madrid has been pushed up by Eric C. And Daniel Mercado finishes really fast in second, but Slovenia will go through. Tim Ballack is on the side, doesn't matter. That was a dodgy move from Eric C to push Eddie Madrid onto the ground, but it counts. Slovenia through, Mexico are, are out. Okay, quarterfinal four says Hungary and Iceland. Iceland have Jimmy John on the front with Barbara Zella alongside. And in the back we have Moose and Patrick Carlson. Here we go, lap one. Good start from Barbara Zella. He's in the lead, followed by Jimmy John. No, Barbara Zella will take it. Jimmy John's going to come in second. Moose has, whoops, Moose has crashed off. Next to Craig Lear's car, and I think I heard over the back there, Patrick Carlson. Lap two sees Moose and Patrick Carlson on the front row. Behind Sarah Bjork, Jesson and Zolt Trapke. And it is Patrick Carlson in the lead this time. And he's the only one still going, and he wins because everyone else has crashed out. Moose will get half a point. So will be your Sarah Bjorkis and Zolt K, no points. Okay, it is 12 to 8 in favour of Iceland. Here we go with lap 3. Zolt K and Sarah, Sarah Bjorkis on the front. Here we go. Sarah Bjorkis in the lead, followed by Barbara Zeller. And Sarah Bjorkis comes out of turn 3 in the lead. Here comes Zolt K, doesn't work. And Iceland go through to the semi finals. Barbara Zella on her roof holding up Jimmy John. So let's have a quick look at the table before we move on to the semi finals. And if you look down here, Netherlands sitting well in the relegation zone. But worst case scenario is that they will pick up 12 points for coming fourth. So that will move them on to 14 points all the way up the table to be in 10th ahead of Sweden. Well, of, they'll be 12th because Philippines and Iceland will be higher than that. And of course, they can always win and they'll end up with 32 points, which would currently see them in, th in third. It does depend on where everyone else finishes though. 
Slovenia, if they win, 30 points will put them on to 48, which is equal with Mexico on 48. And Philippines and Iceland can go up to 41, which will put them in currently second. Worst case scenario for them, we'll put them on 23 points, equal with Hungary, so just outside those Champions League places. Semi-final number one, Philippines versus Netherlands. Tom Rusk and JD Elson on the front, Darren Clarkson and Ed Watch in behind. JD Elson has the best start. He's still holding on to it, and yes, he'll win. No, he hasn't crossed the line, now he has. I thought he had crossed the line. Tom Rusk comes in second after he got a shove from teammate Ed Watch. And Darren Clarkson has stopped on the track for half a point. Or half on the track. Okay, lap two. Darren Clarkson and Ed Watch move on to the front row. Quincy Marin on. And Oz Nitro 76 in the back. And it's Ed Watch in the lead. Followed by Darren Clarkson. Ed Watch is over. And we've had an accident. And we will do have a reset. Right, lap two, reset, here we go. He's watching the lead again. Can he do it this time? Yes, he can. Oh, he's flipped out there. Darren Clarkson shoves him off the track and then rolls over, and Oz Nitro 76 takes it in the end. Darren Clarkson and Quincy Marinon will get half a point each. Okay, it has to be a first and second win for philippines because they are behind by nine and a half points it's 15 to five and a half here we go quincy marinon and oz nitro 76 on your front row close start quincy marinon needs his ahead he's still in the lead who's coming in second oh it's jdl followed by oz nitro 76 tom rusk is stuck there netherlands go through to the final despite only qualifying 25th they are in the final would you believe that all right, just to confirm, the first semi-final, 22 to 13, the win was Netherlands over Philippines. The second semi-final, Iceland versus Slovenia. We have Jimmy John and Eric Z on the front. In behind is Lara Miersnik, I remembered her name, and Patrick Carlson. Here we go, lap one. That's Jimmy John. Yes, oh, here comes Eric Z, closing well, and he beats Jimmy John. Again, by flipping him over. And Jimmy John gets one point for staying there. Where are our other cars? Oh, Patrick Carlson's up there. I don't know if you could see him right by that barrier there on the exit to turn two. And we are missing someone. So I will go find where Lara Mearsnick's gone. Right, Lara Mearsnick and Patrick Carlson. On the front row, in behind Sarah Bjork, Chesson, and Tim Ballack. Here we go. It's Patrick Carlson. Oh, here comes uh, Lara Mearsnick. Can't quite get it done, though. There is Sarah Bjork, Chesson, who will get no points. And Tim Ballack is on his roof up at turn two. Right, lap three in Slovenia lead, 11 to 8. Sarah Bjork, Jesson and Tim Pellick on your front. Here we go. Great start from Sarah Bjork, Jesson. And second is Eric C who crashes and causes a pile-up behind him. Well, that's one way to try and um, maintain your lead. Right, reset. Here we go. Same again. And this time Sarah Bjork, Jesson comes out of it. And she wins. And Iceland will go through. Jimmy John, no points. No uh, no points for Tim Bellick. Eric Z has fallen off the track somewhere. And he will get no points. So Iceland go through to the final. Well, that was a bit of a tease. My battery went for that last night. Um, so we're on to another day. And that's a tease when your battery goes flat. And you can't charge it until the next day. And you are nearly at the end of your tournament. I want to know who wins. Um, so here we go. Let's get on with it, and I'll sure find out. We have Philippines versus Slovenia for the third place uh, playoff. 
or race off, whatever you want to call it. Tom Risk and Eric Z on the front, and Lara Mearsnick and Ed Watch on the back. Here we go. Lap one. Good start from Eric Z. Is he going to hold the lead? Yes, he is. Still in the lead. Oh, he slid out, but he recovers. And we had Tom Risk, I think it was. Is that Tom Risk? Or is Tom Risk down here? Um, no, Tom Risk is down there. Lara Mearsnick is here. Um, so she stayed on the track and... Oh, is Ed Watch? Hang on. Is Ed Watch over that wall? No, he's not. No. So no points for Ed Watch. So a terrible start there from Philippines. Seven and a half points to zero. Lara Mearsnick and Ed Watch move to the front. We have Tim Ballack who is and Quincy Marin on, on in behind, but before we get started, I've just realised that these two are in the wrong place. Second time I've done that in this tournament. Right, there we go. Right, lap two, here we go. And it is Lara Mearsnick, and through comes Quincy Marinon. Is he going to get past? No, not quite. Just finishing. So Lara Mearsnick wins, Quincy Marinon and Marinon in second, and I, well, I don't think that's it. I think Philippines still have a chance, but it's all but over. There is Ed Watch and Tim Ballack. Yeah, so the scores are 14.5 points to Slovenia, 4 to Philippines. So Philippines need a 1 2 finish here. Here we go Quincy Marinon and um, Tim Ballack on the front. Quincy Marinon into the lead, but Eric Z is in second. And, oh, no, they're going to, well, they're going to have to do a rerun. Because no one finished. And, well, Eric Z, if he just kept driving around that corner and making it to the finish line, it would have secured it for Slovenia. So I'm not sure why he stopped there. Maybe he stopped to try and help Quincy Marinon. And what's happening over here? This is an unusual accident, isn't it? Both cars on their side in formation. I'm not sure what's happening here. Maybe Ed Watch and Tom Risk um, decided to do some art to close off this third place uh, race off. But little did they know, their teammates failed to finish as well. So we will have a rerun. Here we go. Try this again. And again, Quincy Marinon and Ed Watts. Uh, sorry, Eric Z. Quincy Marinon's over and Eric Z's going to win. This time he secures it. And we have both... Oh, sorry, both red cars. Quincy Marinon and um, Tim Ballack. On Did I say Ed Watch before Ed Watch and Tom Rusk? Talking about their synchronised um, art. Anyway, uh, Tim Ballack gets half a point. Um, I think we lost Tom Risk over the back, so he will get no points. And so, yeah, Slovenia, third place. Well done, Slovenia. Okay, so just before we move on to the final, Slovenia coming in third for the second tournament in a row. That moves them into third place overall. Um, they will move back to fourth if Iceland win this. Um, but they'll stay just ahead of Netherlands if Netherlands win. Um, and we'll look at the table after this, but we have a final. Iceland versus Netherlands. Netherlands who qualified, was it 25th or 26th? One of those. Uh, and Iceland, I think, off the top of my head, qualified 11th. So, uh, sorry, 10th. Um, so, two really surprising finalists, especially Netherlands. On the front, we have Jimmy John of Iceland. Alongside him, J.D. Elst of the Netherlands. Behind Jimmy John, also of the Netherlands, is Darren Clarkson. And then behind J.D. Elst is Patrick Carlson. Here we go, the final of World Cup Round 3. Here we go, lap 1. Terrible start from Darren Clarkson. It's, wow, it was J.D. Elst and he's still in the lead. Oh, did Jimmy John cross the line? I think he has. Darren Clarkson's fallen off the track. Patrick Carlson's on his roof. And yes, 
Jimmy John has crossed the line, so JD Oss takes the seven points. Jimmy John four, and Patrick Carlson will get half a point. So Netherlands have a slight lead after one lap. Right, lap number two. Excuse me, when I shake about, while well, I'm itching my leg. Sorry, sudden itch. <laughs> Taron Clarkson and Patrick Carlson on the front row. They are joined by uh, Sarah Bjork Jesson and Oz Nitro 76. Here we go, lap two. Great start from Patrick Carlson. He is flying down the track. Yes, he wins easily. Here comes Darren Clarkson to get just a point. And we have Oz Nitro 76 and Sarah Bjork Jesson who have had a coming together over on turn three. They'll get half a point each. Right, this is it. Uh, Iceland have taken the lead. They are on 12 points. Netherlands on 8.5. Oz Nitro 76 has the best starting position, though. Alongside him, Sarah Bjork Jesson. We've got Jimmy John and JD Oss on the back row. Who is going to take this? Let's do it. Go! And it's... Oh, Oz Nitro 76 got caught, I think. Sarah Bjork Jesson is going to win it. Oz Nitro 76 comes in second. Iceland take it. Iceland are your World Cup Round 3 champions. We have JD Elst and Jimmy John over here. No points for them. They've both flopped over. That was one down there somewhere when Oz Nitro 76 got a wheel stuck. He managed to get back. He managed to recover, but by then the damage had done. And Sarah Bjork Jesson, excuse me, while well, my fingers get in the way. Let's pull out these cars. This is where they go at the end, by the way. Into the box. So, let's put them in place. In fact, let's stop filming and I'll do this off camera. There we go. Here is your podium. Third place, Slovenia. Of Lara Miosnik, Eric Z, and Tim Ballack. Second place, Netherlands. Darren Clarkson, JD Elson, Oz Nitro 76. And your winners... Iceland, Sarah Bjork Jesson, Jimmy John, and Patrick Carlson. And a special mention to, of course, the Philippines, who came in fourth place. Uh, Ed Watch, Quincy Marinon, and Tom Risk.